for Philadelphia. Butler comes in for George. The 76ers might have dodged having the worst record in the league last season, but they didn't dodge having the worst road record last year, Clark. They could not dodge that one, Kevin. Just six wins on the road, but that was pretty much expected considering the youth and inexperience of this team. And the 76ers making a change here. Durant's checked in. That's good again. His seventh basket, seven for ten from the floor. Boston's gone 0-3 so far in the fourth quarter from long range. And for the 76ers, they weren't a good shooting team in general. And on the road, it, it got real ugly. They shot under 40% as a team on the year away from home. Outside Butler. Down low. Jordan dishes to Durant, and he jams it with authority. Heads up play there, guys, on the assist and the finish. For the Sixers, just a brutal start to last season, 17 straight losses. They did get their first four wins of the season as a road team, though. As bad as they were on the road, at least they had that going for them. Feeds it to Young, passes it to Crowder. Clock at four. From deep three-point range, it's rebounded by Durant. Durant's got five rebounds tonight. Outside Butler, nobody near Barnes. But... Shots good on the assist by Butler. Butler's got three assists tonight. They are wreaking havoc on them with the three-point shot here. The defense has no answer right now. Even when they've gotten a hand up, it has not seemed to matter. Crowder. In it goes for the eighth time in ten tries. You know, if you're only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would have the lead. And Philadelphia calls time here. And not many people expected anyone from the Atlantic to do much last season. Boston was the surprise of the division as they ended up making the playoff. And for Boston against the rest of the Atlantic division, they were tough. They ended up going 12-4 and four in the division, which was a big reason, Clark, they made the playoff. And you know those 12 wins against the rest of the Atlantic, Kevin, were a division best. Even the Raptors, who won the division, only had 11 wins against the Atlantic. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Hi, guys. Over that break, I was able to catch the message Brad Stevens was giving to his team. He told them to always have their eyes up, always be looking for passing lanes and ways to get the ball into the low post. That was the brunt of his message. He also said something you don't hear too often from a coach. He told his guys they should have a shoot-first mindset instead of trying to be, quote, too cute with the ball. A few late-on-the-fly adjustments as a... gets more desperate for them. It's going to be a tough hill to climb, guys. And as always, Doris, thank you. For three, shot is no good. Now the 76ers take it the other way. And one team is just completely outclassing the other tonight. Spirited performance, and it really ignited what is turning out to be a monster win here for the 76ers. But Steve, you know, you don't see this kind of a blowout often. But tonight, this is a quality win across the board to deliver out, uh, uh, Clark, this, this kind of punishment. Well, you know what? I thought they did a nice job of playing against the game. They kept the pressure on and clearly were dominant in every area. And what a huge standout performance it was for Carmelo Anthony. He was really important under the basket, making the plays down low and getting position to pull in rebound. And then Durant with the jam. 
And this is going to be a fantastic result for them. No win on the road comes easy. Not in the NBA, they don't. And trust me, they're going to take a little extra pleasure in this win, having silenced an entire building of hostile fans. Shot clock and game clock separated by less than six seconds. Yarebko can't get it to go. And DeRozan kicks to Durant. Buries it from three-point range. This is a serious game-clinching run they're on. Yeah, I agree with you. Just not backing off here. I mean, they're looking to close this one out in style. What a time to have this kind of serve. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Hey, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And a chance now to send you over to Doris Burke standing by on the sideline. Doris? Well, DeMarcus, congratulations on the win tonight. We know you're a very intense player, but tonight you certainly seem to be having a lot of fun out there. Um, that's, that's the thing. I'm just trying to come out here and have fun. I got a lot going for myself, and I'm too blessed to be out here <laughs> frowning all the time. I'm going to try to keep smiling on myself. We love to see you smile, DeMarcus. Thanks for the time. Guys? Thank you, Doris. Great interview once again. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Thank you, Kevin. And now we get a chance to present our Jordan player of the game, Carmelo Anthony. He put up a new season high tonight. And if he keeps shooting like he did tonight before the season's over, he might top it. A big key to his team's victory here. And folks, that's it for us. Thank you for tuning in. Always a pleasure. For Kenny the Jet Smith, for Shaquille O'Neal, this is Ernie Johnson. Have a great night.